Welcome to Grammar with Lily. In these videos, we have studied three main types of verbs. Do you remember what they are? Action verbs tell us what the subject does. Examples are run and write. Stative verbs tell us something true about the subject. Examples are like and want. These are not actions, but they are still verbs. And helping verbs get used with another verb to give more information about it. Examples are can and will, which give information about the ability or future certainty of the main verb that comes after. Most verbs can only work as one of these, action or stative or helping. But a few verbs can do more than one job. The first example is do. Do can be an action verb. Marwa does yoga. The students did their homework. Or do can be a helping verb. Does she have a phone? The boy didn't play football. When do is a helping verb, we put it with a main verb in base form. Does she have, not has, or the boy didn't play, not played. Another special verb like this is be. Be can be a stative verb. Miss Tracy is a teacher. The pilot isn't heroic. Or be can be a helping verb. The plane is landing. The pilots aren't reaching their goals. But notice how this helping verb is different. With do, we used a main verb in base form, no special ending. With be, we use a main verb in present participle form with an ing ending. Together, this is called the present progressive tense. Be plus present participle equals present progressive. Look at these present progressive sentences. What is the order of the words? The plane is landing. The plane, subject, is, helping verb, landing, present participle, main verb. Good. And the second sentence, I'm fly, wait, I'm flying. Where is the helping verb? Hmm. Oh yes, it's connected to the subject as a contraction. I, subject, am, helping verb, but then I'm is the contraction. Flying, present participle, the plain object. Good. Can you find all the parts in the third sentence also? Now, look at the negative sentences. Where do we put the negative word not? We put it after the helping verb, be. Look at that first sentence. Can you see the not? Right, it is contracted with the helping verb. Is not, isn't. What is the other negative contraction? Yes, in the third example, the pilots aren't reaching their goals. Now, look at the question word order. For a yes-no question, such as, is the plane landing? We start with the helping verb is, then the subject, the plane, and then the present participle landing. Yes. How do I give a short answer? Yes or no, and then the subject pronoun. What is the subject pronoun for the plane? It. And then which verb? Do I use the helping verb? or the present participle main verb? Right, the helping verb. Why? Because it is the first verb in the question. Is the plane landing? Yes, it is. Or no, it isn't. Good. Now remember, be has three present tense forms. Am, is, are. It is important to make sure that the subject and verb agree. Which form of be should I use in these sentences? 
everybody hmm talking about the hero yes everybody is why is everybody is an indefinite pronoun and indefinite pronouns as subjects always need a singular verb the men hmm not working Oh, yes, are. Why are? Because men is plural. It does not have an S. It is an irregular plural, but then it needs the plural verb are. And, hmm, rice cooking in the kitchen? Yes, is. Why is? Because rice is uncountable. It's a non-count noun, so we need the singular verb. Next time, we will talk about the meaning of present progressive and a very important rule about when not to use it.